Hi, I'm Jonathan Bardzik, and I'm here to talk to you about the National Garden Bureau's 2017 Vegetable of the Year. Who's the National Garden Bureau? Well, they're this great organization that tells us all about the cool stuff that we can do in our gardens and landscapes at home. Now, how does the National Garden Bureau choose the Vegetable of the Year? Well, each year their board of directors gets together and selects a vegetable that is popular, easy to grow, has lots of variety, and has been the subject of cool new breeding. You can find out more at ngb.org. So, the 2017 vegetable of the year is kale. Kale has taken the culinary world by storm, and it's great in salads, sautés. I like serving mine up with sweet, tart, dried cranberries. Oops, it looks like I may have spoken too soon. Well, okay, the, the 2017 vegetable of the year is cauliflower. And I love serving cauliflower mashed with chives and goat cheese. It's great in soups. Turnips? They couldn't make up their mind? Uh, okay, so turnips are, are wonderful. Braised in the oven with pot roast, they have a great bite to them. Oh, come on, this is ridiculous. I, wait a minute, I, I know. Uh, the 2017 vegetables of the year all come from the brassica family. Brassica is one of the most prolific food producing genera of plants in the world. And it includes favorites like cauliflower, broccoli, cabbage, and Brussels sprouts. And it also includes bok choy, turnips, rutabaga, arugula, and canola, which is the world's third largest source of vegetable oil. Brassicas are also known as cruciferous vegetables or coal crops, and that's actually coal with an E, not cold with a D. They are superstars in the vegetable world when it comes to health benefits. They have lots of vitamin C and compounds that prevent cancer, as well as being anti-inflammatory and reducing levels of bad cholesterol in our bloodstreams. Pretty impressive. New varieties like All America Selections Award winners Artwork Broccoli, Hestia Brussels Sprouts, and Bopak Pak Choi are being bred for taste, heat tolerance, and growth habit. There are lots of varieties coming out in bright colors like purple and orange cauliflower, red tinged kale, and this bright green hybrid of broccoli and cauliflower, Romanesco. Brassicas prefer colder weather, usually ripening in the fall and can be harvested into winter with a little bit of protection. Today I'm going to make what I like to call the world's nerdiest stir fry. And it's because we're using all members of the Brassica family to make this brightly colored and delicious dish. Now, stir fries can be a little intimidating, but most of the hard work is done by the time you finish chopping your vegetables. We're going to start with the harder brassicas, the Romanesco and the cauliflower. Now we're going to go with softer ingredients like the red cabbage and the stems of the Napa cabbage. Now for our softest ingredients, the Napa cabbage and the kale. Now I'm going to add the rest of the ingredients back into the pan to warm them up a little bit. Add a little bit of oil and some fresh ginger. Then we'll finish our stir fry with a soy based sauce with a little bit of cornstarch to thicken it up. Now we're ready to serve, brightly colored and delicious. With so many choices, you will never run out of ways to celebrate the year of the brassica, from growing them in your garden to sharing them with friends and family at your table. Enjoy.